The United Nations is one of the most important organizations in the world, but have you ever heard of its first black secretary general? He was an amazing person who was born into poverty but became one of the most powerful people on earth. His name was Kofi Annan. He served as a secretary general for 10 years from 1997 to 2007. But do you know what he did to get there and what his legacy will be? Sit back, relax, and let me show you all that this man has done for humanity. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode of the Untold Tales of Africa. Kofi Annan was born in Kumasi, Ghana on August 19, 1938. His father was a goldsmith and his mother was a trader. They lived a pretty comfortable existence but they were not rich by any means. Kofi had to work from the moment that he could walk. At age 13, he went on to live with his uncle who was a cocoa farmer. He would travel for hours to help him out on the farm. He wasn't very good at spending his time with his friends as they were most likely playing soccer. Ghana is well known for its love of soccer and Kofi grew up loving the game as well. Later on in his life, Kofi went on to college to study economics. He was very interested in politics and how it affected the world economy. His studies led him to getting a scholarship to the University of Montreal in Canada. After graduating, he got his first job working for the World Health Organization. It was there where he made connections with many people in high places, including the current Secretary General. Kofi left the World Health Organization in 1971 and became a consultant for many high-level jobs in different countries. It was during this time when he met his wife, Nene Lei. They have three children together, Kojo Anan, Ama Anan, and Nina Langford Sith. In 1977, Kofi became the Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations. Many people saw his position as a way to avoid conflict and keep things peaceful between countries that had a lot of different interests. But even with this purpose, he still managed to upset some people like Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan who were both simultaneously satisfied and displeased by the fact that he was not an American. In 1992, he became Under Secretary of the organization. The next year, he was appointed to co-coordinator for humanitarian effort reliefs in Somalia. But when he didn't get to the right places and the soldiers were dying because of his actions, people began to doubt him. In 1994, he became the head of peacekeeping operations and in 1996, he was appointed secretary general. He went on to take over the UN at a very difficult time. The Soviet Union had just collapsed, leaving large empty spaces in the budget. The US also cut his contribution significantly. He transferred many of the positions to other people so that he could have more time to be able to reform the United Nations. He implemented many changes including the oil for food program, which allowed Iraq to sell its oil on the condition that they use it to buy food and medicine for their people. Anand also made up for some screw-ups during his time as Secretary General. In 1994, he authorized airstrikes on Bosnian Serbs, even though the UN is meant to be a peacekeeping organization and not a military one. He admitted that he should not have done this as they should have let the US take over as Britain originally agreed to, but the bombing helped stop the genocide. In 1995, he served as a mediator between peace talks in Rwanda about the civil war there, but when the killing started again in April, he did nothing about it. It's estimated that up to a million people died during this time. The US blamed him for not stopping the killings and Anand publicly apologized. He also authorized the invasion of East Timor by Indonesia, even though they didn't have permission from the right people. After leaving the United Nations, he became a very special envoy to Syria and even attempted to mediate their civil war. He helped negotiate an agreement about chemical weapons which has since been broken. In 1998, Anand issued a report where they said that the gross and systematic violations of human rights had been committed in Rwanda during the 1994 genocide. This led to the arrest of some people but ultimately most criminals were never caught. In 2006, he won a Nobel Peace Prize for his humanitarian work. He also received an honorary knighthood from Queen Elizabeth for his services to the Commonwealth. Anand was the first black UN Secretary General and oversaw many pivotal moments in recent history, including 9-11 and the Iraq War. He helped set the tone for modern world affairs and create the world that we live in today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. In the end, Kofi Annan was a man that made an immense impact on world affairs at a time when many changes were happening in our world. He will be missed but his legacy still lives on for all of those who strive to make the world better every day. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so that I can continue making awesome content for you. My name is Asher and I'll see you in the next video.